And if you can define those five things, who are the players? What do they want? What are their objectives? What can they do? What do they know? And what do they get? That defines a game. I mean, this, this goes back to my undergrad days when my game theory teacher said, if you tell me the players, the rules, the strategies, and the payoffs, I can solve any game. That's really what it is. It's about defining the game you're playing as opposed to solving the game. And once you define the game, that sets up the war game if you want to role play it. And if you just want to sort of sit around a table and talk about it as a team, you've defined the game you're playing. And so you can think about what the outcome is going to be based on that game. I like to say, you know, if if I gave you a, a eight by eight board, you know, with different color squares, and I said, let's play a game, your first question would say, is it checkers or chess? You shouldn't just start saying, oh, well, I'm going to start moving pieces. You need to know a little bit like, is it me and you? Is it like teams, me and you? Do I get to have a grandmaster <laughs> staying behind me? So you want to understand the game you're playing before you can start saying, well, let's, you know, go start moving these pieces.